This is a short video on the underdetermination of special relativity. First, I will explain what underdetermination is. Second, I will deal with underdetermination in quantum physics. And then I'll get on to underdetermination in special relativity. The Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy explains underdetermination of scientific theory as following. At the heart of the underdetermination of scientific theory by evidence is the simple idea that the evidence available to us at a given time may be insufficient to determine what belief we should hold in response to it. Um, and basically it means that evidence can be interpreted by different theories and the Stafford Encyclopedia says a simple scientific example can be found in the rationale behind the sensible methodological adage that correlation does not imply causation. So Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy gives this example, and I don't think it's a very good example really, but uh, consider the possibility that children that are violent in the playground uh, also like watching violent cartoons. Now, does watching violent cartoons cause the children to be violent in the playground? Or does it just mean that the two things are correlate, correlated? That suppose that the children just like violence, and so hence are violent in the playground. And since they like violence, they also then like violent cartoons. So it's the possibility that violent cartoons don't cause children to be violent. Maybe there's some other factor which causes uh, children to be violent in the playground such as maybe they have too much sugar from eating things like Twinkies or maybe it's because the parents are not uh, neglecting them so what is the cause of children being uh, violent in the playground you can say that the children who are violent in the playground are like violent cartoons and that is co correlated but you can't then uh, infer that watching violent cartoons causes the children to be violent um, so you've got this problem of correlation and causation in lots of things you don't know just from things being correlated whether the one thing causes the other. So given this example, we can form the following theories. Theory one is watching cartoons causes children to be violent in the playground. And theory two is watching cartoons does not cause children to be violent in the playground. Given that we only only know watching cartoons is correlated to violent behavior in the playground then we don't know which theory is the correct one because only no correlation and not causation thus we have under determination and this problem of undetermination happens a lot in theorizing So moving on to this article, quantum field theory under determination, inconsistency and idealization. idealization. Um, it says in the abstract, quantum field theory presents a genuine example of the underdetermination of theory by empirical evidence. There are variants of quantum field theory, for example, standard textbook formulation 
and the rigorous axiomatomic formulation that were empirically indistinguishable yet support different interpretations. This case is of a particular in interest to philosophers of physics because before the philosophical work of interpreting quantum field theory can proceed, the question of which variant should be subjected to interpretation and must be must be settled. New arguments are offered for basing the interpretation of quantum theory, field theory on rigorous axiomatomic variant of the theory. The pivotal consideration are the roles that consistency and idealization play in the case this case. So the problem is under determination you've got different inter interpretations that can be applied to a theory. Uh, in the case of quantum field theory it's fairly well recognized that it can be interpreted in different ways. Um, Richard Feynman, who was considered a physics genius, uh, and after talking about relativity, says this. I think I can safely say that nobody understands quantum mechanics. The difficulty really is psychological and insists in perpetual torment that results from your saying to yourself, but how can it be like that, which is a reflection of uncontrolled but utterly vain desire to see it in terms of something familiar, but nature is not classical, damn it. The imagination of nature is far greater than the imagination of man. And I think the problem of understanding quantum mechanics is uh, that it can be interpreted in different ways and that is under de the underdetermination of it so this is must be what uh, Feynman is referring to it's the underdetermination of quantum mechanics it, it has different ways of be you can int and interpret it and hence nobody understands it according to him uh, so have underdetermination in quantum physics. Uh, what is often avoided by relativists is that there is underdetermination in Einstein's uh, relativity. So let's give an example of that. Uh, this is uh, Professor Norton, and he studies the history and philosophy of physics, relativity, and so forth, and with special interest in general relativity. Now, in his paper, Einstein's Investigations of Galilean Covariant electro Electrodynamics prior to 1905, he says, uh, even today, this point needs emphasis. The Mikkelsen-Morley experiment is fully compatible with an emission theory of light that contradicts the light postulate. Uh, so the Mikkelsen-Morley experiment need not be interpreted by special relativity that makes it underdetermined. Of course, there are other issues like arguing over different interpretations of light postulate, but I pass. The underdetermined special relativity runs into the problem, the vagueness of the theory, and I've dealt with that in other videos. Mainstream just keeps trying to sweep certain things under the carpet, and there's this problem of how to interpret experiments. When they teach special relativity, they only want to talk about experiments being interpreted interpreted by special relativity when uh, experiments can be interpreted by other theories than special relativity. And that makes the experiments underdetermined. But underdetermination is an interpretation is an issue that they don't want to go into. So that's the end of this short video. Thank you.